What's up guys, this is Doc Z. I hope this message finds you well. I'm super excited to be here today. Today is what, December the 29th. We are a few days before the new year. So I figured I would provide you a yearly reading. I've never done this before, but first time for everything. So I wanted to provide you a collective reading for the year of 2020. And I'm going to break it down based upon the month. Mm, let's see how that goes. So, uh, first, I want to say thank you so much for supporting my videos. Um, I ask you again to, if you like the videos, if you appreciate what I'm doing every week, please like, share the videos, and you're welcome to join my YouTube subscribers uh, link. And you're also welcome to... Uh, at me on Instagram and Facebook and all the social media platforms that I will have included in the uh, information box below. So, um, wow, it's been a year, right? What do they say? Time is filled with, with transition. None on earth unmoved can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Now look, I can't sing, but um, you know what? I think I can. Everyone can sing. Just everyone don't sound good singing, right? But um, I always sing all the time. I mean, I can tear it, carry a tune, but it feels good in my heart. I think that's where really the point is that you feel good in your heart and you hold that emotion in your heart and you vibrate that. And uh, that's the energy that creates worlds, right? But that's another topic. So, what is the theme for the year? Hmm. I'm going to use a rune today. In addition to tarot, we're going to use runes. So, what is the theme for the year? The room is Iwas. 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 Now, Iwas is associated with fertilization and the beginning of something, something actualizing and actually being manifested. You actualizing your potential. It's about internal growth, right? So, it's the beginning of 2020. And the theme that's coming up for 2020 is actualizing your potential self-growth, okay? And this is uh, associated or connected with the first chord that I pulled for today, representing the year, which is the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is about, and why is a pentacle? So he's about manifesting your will into the material world. So he's about accessing your potential or your growth. And he's also about nourishment as well. So this is a good sign for me. I'm seeing, I'm seeing an energy of someone who is being responsible, someone who is being um, practical. So this is a person who is uh, diligently um, fertilizing the land and he is putting in the work to make sure that his harvest is, is uh, plentiful and that he reaps a wonderful harvest. So this year, I just feel like we're working towards actualizing uh, goals um, our passions, we're now working to make sure that we are in line with them. And this is pretty interesting because when I look at, I don't want to skip ahead, but when I look at the last uh, card and when I look at the room that is associated, oh geez, it's got to stop the video. Because I want to show you the, the, um, the room. I just dropped it. Hold on. Okay, so the last room is Jeddah. Jeddah. How appropriate is that? You know what it means? It means a year. A whole year. 
So that means this represents the whole year of 2020. How interesting is that? I thought, wow, the first rune represents like a beginning. I and mean, we're talking about 2020. And then this is, we want to know what's going on, what's going to happen for the whole year. And this is the last rune. And so usually this is about efforts being realized. How about that? So, you know, it's about um, basically success. It's about having clarity, but it's like representing like a breakthrough of some sort, but something coming into a realization. And this is reinforced with the Ace of Swords. So this is about clarity. This is the maximum energy of that of that uh, suite. So, feels like good news to me. But let's work through the months. Let's see how things will kind of progress through the months. So, I'm seeing, for January, I'm seeing the Five of Wands. And I feel like this is similar to the energy that we were talking about in December. Well, there will be some losses. Well, this is like, it feels like this is wrapping up. Like this is like coming to like some type of head of some sort because there is definitely this continuation of conflict. Um, usually this is like competition. This is like, um, it just feels like, you know, you're not working towards the same goal in, in, in within this month. And this is going to cause some level of like uh, anxiety, uh, frustration. But at the end of the day, this is leading you to the Empress. And the Empress is about, um, she's the nurturing one. She is the one who has an abundance of something, you know? Um, and so whatever that is, that it, whatever it's called for in that particular situation, that is, um, I feel that is causing the conflict. I feel like this is, this is saying, hmm, maybe I need to be a bit more, um, nurturing. Maybe this could be nurturing of yourself, but the Empress is definitely here to, and she represents an energy of not of where there's no lack i mean because she's like she has everything that she needs um so you know she's about abundance what else can i say about her um what else can i say yeah so she's really about nature and like having access to everything that she needs But you're going to have to experience, it feels like, some type of conflict before you get to that point. This is for the month of January. Then we see February. It's about temperance. I used to get this card with my brother all the time. It's about coming into balance. It's about coming into compromise. It's about um, having moderation. So you will feel that energy in February where you will have to exercise a moderation and balance in the month of February. Um, March will be called for you to have to employ the energy of the Hermit. The Hermit is about an energy of introspection, self-reflection, soul searching. He is an energy that you, it's like you have to go, so he goes to his mountaintop experience, you know, and he climbs to the mountain all by himself Similar to Jesus in the wilderness, having his wilderness experience, 40 days and 40 nights. But he goes to find his power, to reach his potential, or at least to come to an understanding of his light, so that now he can begin to share his light, his lantern. This is his lantern, he's shining his light for the world to see, you know? March, um, I'm seeing wands here, this wands energy. So it's like, hmm, maybe now that he's found his light, now he's charging, he's charging towards his passions. He's charging towards his dreams. He's charging to whatever that is that is lighting him on fire. He's charging to it, he's courageous. And um, he's moving ahead. April, 
we're looking at. It looks like some type of, um, these are cups. This is six, so this is about harmony um, in relationships. I don't know if this is about, you know, you're connecting with someone from the past. Um, if this is, I don't know if this is like, re I don't know if this is like a reconnection of some sort. Um, but it's, it's, it's an energy that expresses harmony. Um, I don't know if this is like a restoration of some sort, because I do see this is connected with the two of cups. Um, I, I feel like maybe this is some type of relationship that you are, I don't know, that you are restoring. Um, I think it's like, it's like now it's time, it's a good time for us to reconnect. Um, because like, as you've been thinking about each other, but this connection is like, I don't know if this connection is like, oh, where we're we going to get back together or if this is just, we're just reconnecting for the purposes of just, um, establishing, um, the fact that we care about each other and that we just want a, a relationship. Not necessarily the relationship that we had, but we want a relationship. Whatever this relationship is, it, it, it makes you feel like, oh, I've moved away from the trouble of it all. I'm in a good space now. Um, so let's see, January, February, March, April, May, and then we have June, the sixth month. We have the King of Wands here. So the King of Wands speaks to us about leadership and overcoming challenges. So, I feel like maybe, maybe this is, you know, the fact that you've overcome, um, yeah, I feel, but these challenges, I don't know why I feel like this has an emotional connection, kind of, because this is like, usually I'm seeing the three of swords, so that's not really emotional, but something, how can I describe this, um, Something that's causing some type of suffering and grief or cause suffering and grief. Um, it's like you now you're overcoming whatever that was that caused you suffering and, and grief. You have done the inventory and now um, you realize that, okay, this is not adding up. The, so, the seeds that I have sown thus far for this particular thing, it's not yielding me what I want. So now this is time for a course correction. So the six months is like course correction and you have an opportunity here. And um, this Ace of Pentacles is like, okay, the hand of God, give me an opportunity, what are you gonna do with it? So um, now it's like, ah, I'm going to, whatever this decision you're making, it's like, it's geared towards something that you're very passionate about and you're marching towards overcoming whatever this challenge is. Um, then we have July. July is the energy of justice. Justice is about the judge. It's about being fair. It's about um, being balanced in your delivery of justice. It's about karma, you know. Um, you get what you deserve. Um, but usually justice is about, you know, um, I'm winning. You know, usually it's a good sign of Okay, like if you get a, if you're in a court case or in some type of situation where our decision has to be um, delivered, it's like okay, July is saying you're gonna win, you're winning, and uh, things will come out in your favor. Um, August, I'm seeing the star card. The star is basically an energy that is uh, invoking uh, like inspiration from the stars, inspiration from our guides, inspiration from our team, because obviously something has happened where we want to be nourished. We want to be replenished. We want to be restored. And so the star card comes um, to remind us of um, our connection with spirit and, and through that connection, our ability to be renewed um, um, by the life-giving waters uh, of the star. So we have September, it's about the will of fortune. So it's like things are moving in our favor now. So this is like, good, things are moving in our favor. Um, mo probably moving so much in our favor. So we have June, July, August, 
let's see, June, July, August, September. So September is the Wheel of Fortune. October, we have uh, uh, the Seven of Cups. So things are moving so much in our favor. Um, in September, October, we have so many options. We feel like we have so many options, like so many things before us. We have choices, but you need to be careful because really, there's really only one choice that is before you. <clears throat> but you got options, but uh, things can get cloudy. Um, this is cool. Let's see. November, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And she represents abundance and prosperity. And um, she also represents uh, nurturing as well. So this is like, this is basically saying, okay, well, our, this is connect, uh, connect, connected with our sense of success and bringing forth or manifesting our success in the material world. So this is clearly tangible and you can see it. Um, and then, the December is basically the Eight of Pentacles, and it's basically saying, okay, I'm working very hard. So it's like you're working hard all year long, but you're working and you're perfecting your craft, and you're doing some amazing stuff. But you're working all, you're working hard because the energy of, of the theme was, okay, um, AWOS. And AWOS was about fertility. It's about putting um, the work in. And so that at the end of the year, you can say, oh, wow, my year has been amazing. I'm, I'm reaping so much success and I have perfected my craft. And now um, 2021 is going to even be better because I've achieved some level of success. I can see it now. I'm reaping a good harvest. I've had breakthroughs. And um, this really was as a result of me perfecting and working on my skill, on my craft. And now the doors have been blown open for you. Um, let's see, what else can I say? Um, I think the goal here is really to just remain focused. These are the three things I say again. You have to let go. So we're gonna let go of 2019 and all the things that didn't serve us in 2019. We're going to focus on the will towards the things that we want to manifest. What is what does the Bible talk about? God says, I am that I am, or said another way, I will what I will to be. So therefore, in this year, I feel like we as divine beings, the God in us, as us, will will what we will to be, will will what we will to experience with deliberate intent. Um, and this is the thoughts matched with the emotion, matched with the sincere efforts to create momentum to lead us to actual physical manifestation. I think that's what this year is saying. This year is the year of us doing the work, okay? Um, but, you know, if you are interested in any specific readings specific to you and your journey for this year, you're welcome to reach out to me. I'm happy to do a phone reading or in-person reading. Um, and um, just let me know. But if you've enjoyed this reading, if you're open and receptive um, to the messages that I've communicated today, all the better for you. And it gives you insight on how this year will work out. And But just so you know, I'll, I think I need to start saying that tarot is not permanent. Tarot just gives us the general energies of, that are currently around us. They're based upon um, how we're currently vibrating, the things that we're currently thinking and doing and experiencing, it just reflects that. But it doesn't mean that it's permanent because there are things that we can do, things, people change, you know, things change. So if you change certain things as a part of an equation, then the rest changes as well. So, um, so just be open and receptive to that as well. Nothing is permanent, things can change. Um, so I hope this was helpful and thank you. And I will talk to you next week. All right.